Good morning and welcome to Greythorn Primary School and to our virtual tour this morning. So this is at the entrance to our school and this is our reception area. So one of the things that we are really proud of at Greythorn is our membership of Blind High Trust and the school has gone from strength to strength since we joined it. And uh, we love that slogan that we can, our children can look for, back with pride and forward with confidence. Here is our wonderful staff team. And team is a very important word at Greythorn. This is our office. Um, and we'll go through into the main school and have a look at the office now. Our office staff has three members of office team has three members of staff. Um, and Mr. Perkins, the site manager, is in there at the moment too. Um, but we could not wish for a better team to be working in the office. But Mrs. Jenkinson, who um, is the office administrator, is a wonderful PR person from the school, always meets everyone with a smile. Mrs. Easy is, a, is the um, school business manager and Claire Wheeler is our clerical assistant, but they are a wonderful team and there is never anything they say, no, we can't do that. Um, always positive and do everything with a smile. This is um, some of the work we've been doing on our school curriculum and thinking about those golden threads that we want to run through every part of our curriculum um, and thinking about that child that we want to leave us at the end of year six. The first thing is we want each of them to be happy, to be healthy, um, as they move towards adulthood. We also want them to know that they're part of a diverse community and to rejoice in that, to celebrate that. And Greythorn is a very diverse school. We have 50% of our children from black and multi-ethnic backgrounds and a third of them speak languages other than English. And we celebrate that um, and we work together for the children to know that even though we're all different, we're all equal. And we want them to know that they are global citizens and that what they do, do here makes a difference to the whole world and to help them to act positively and to have a good impact. Then we go through now into our foundation area. Our foundation area is designed for 45 children. Um, at the moment we have 15 in them in here and it's very different from how we normally do because normally you would have it set up for the different areas of learning. Um, we have two class areas where teachers can, um, can meet their children in the morning and where teaching inputs happen. Um, and then the rest of the classroom is set up normally um, for the children to play and explore with continuous provision. Outside, we have an outside area again where children can continue to explore with their learning outside. On the other side of the fence, you can see our Key Stage 1 and Foundation Playground. And when the weather's good, we can use the bank as well, which the children very much enjoy. Often we can hear. Can we go on the bank? So we're going to move out of foundation now as they move out to play. And we're going to go into key stage one. So in key stage one, we have three classes. Um, all of our children, when they leave foundation, they go into three classes that are vertically grouped, years one and two. All lining up to wash their hands prior to going up to play at the moment. So this is Willow class, and this is Mountson. This is Mountson's our key station leader. Um, as you can see, it's set out with the just socially distanced at the moment. Um, we move along here, we've got the second key station program in the classroom, which is called Oak Class. Miss Hillman teaching here. Hi. And we have our third stage one classroom with Miss Button, which is Maple Class. And just off the key stage one 
Corridor is our beautiful break room garden created by community volunteers and maintained by one of our wonderful TAs, Mrs Holton, and her gardening club. So children can join that and go after school and help to maintain our wonderful garden. And the head teacher's office looks out on it, so that's an additional treat. So now we're going to go through to year five, six. And this is you, Chris. For year five. So at the moment, it's yeah. children. I got but the actual yeah, coronavirus has 33 children. The very oversubscribed in okay, stage two. Yeah, I will let them get All right, number eight, please. So, you should have year five. There, we're moving into Silver Birch Care, so another five, six classroom. The children aren't in here at the moment, they're outside. Miss Hud joined us as an NPT several years ago now, um, think about six, and has stayed with us and is a strong teacher in the Year 5 6 team. And across here we have our final Year 5 6 classroom, and that's Sycamore class. The Alps is in Europe. Uh, Mount Ararat. Mount Ararat. Mrs. Cox, who is our deputy head. This is Beach class, and Beach class is a year three, four class. This is the Key Stage 2 corridor um, and has our computer suite in it. Um, we also have trolleys which have laptops, iPads which can be taken to the classrooms. And at the end of this corridor, we have our final two year three, four classrooms. We have Rowan class. Just taught by Job Share, Mrs. Riley and Mrs. Roberts. And we have Holly Class. Another three four classroom. Taught by Miss Whitehead, who was an NPT with us last year, and he's a very strong RPT leader. Right, so we move down here. This is um, the corridor that takes us to. Our hall. Um, we enjoy sport at Greythorn and always represent uh, the school at all the Rushford school competitions. Uh, the hall at the moment is being used as a foundation stage class. Um, normally it would be used for Sundays and lunches, that's not possible at the moment. So we're using it for class of our foundation children who are in school. see around school our school values that were developed by myself with the staff when I became head um, and those are represented by gems we talk about our gem powers um, and, and by sort of hero figures um, this is our library area down here we have the staff room and down here, very importantly, the head teacher's office. Uh, the intervention room there, which is um, used by small groups. And this is the head teacher's office, which has um, a desk space and a space for um, meetings and looks out on the lovely garden. So a nice view. Um, and as I was saying, we have our values, which we talk about our gem powers, so aspiration. Is amethyst, sapphire is confidence, respect is topaz power, we talk about our resilience, which is emerald power. Very special at Greythorn is ruby power, which is kindness, and creativity, which is our diamond power. And that's where we'll end our tour.